I guess working hard is a grind. Um, it's a long season. Uh, it's that being 15 games. Um, we don't really feel pressure. I think the pressure for us is just getting better each week, um, and we keep it that simple. So. Last year was a little different. From yeah, I mean, this point. I mean, this point last year. I mean, we were we had a loss on the record, so um, <clears throat> we were definitely, I guess, chasing. I mean, obviously, we were chasing uh, championships in November. Let's start there. But uh, you know, the end result turned out well, and. Um, yeah, that's all I can really say for that. Can cool. expectation be, Coach, uh, use the word tightness, um, like a bur you know, carrying a burden around. Who used tightness? Uh, Urban. He said that the he's team's tight? talking about the, no, he just said, why is it the grind, why, why what's the, the mantra was the grind, and that's mm -hmm. because he said it's, it's tough to repeat. Uh, oh, yeah. It's, it's a heavy kind of thing that you carry, I guess. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but I, I, just the general feeling of the team, we don't really feel, I guess, that pressure of, you know, just, I mean, we don't even feel, you know, the, the defending national champ. We don't feel that. We don't, there's nothing in there in our facility that has any resemblance of last year. So we're just focused on, you know, getting better each week. And the team we have, you know, uh, that week. So I mean, we're 9 0 now. Look at a chance to go 10 0. We're keeping it that simple. And the game day is the chance. That's the payoff, right? That's yeah. the fun. Having yeah. you been grinding for four or five days during the week. Yeah. I mean, I think that'd be anybody's little payday. Yeah, yeah. You know, just work hard every each, every day and, uh, you know, get to get paid on Saturday nights. Three quarters. The list of things that you're trying to accomplish on a daily basis, obviously, which is trying to win the next game is the most important thing. Getting the younger guys behind you ready for the future, how important is that to sort of what a, what a veteran, what a starter, has to do each week. Is that part of your responsibility? Absolutely. As a leader, um, you're entitled to, you know, bring up the guys who are younger than you and to teach them and show them the way. Um, oh, I feel that the best mark as a leader is just to leave the place better than, you know, when you came there. Um, and that's what goal I'd have for any young guys is to leave the place better than when I came here. So um, passing the torch and all that, you know, teaching them the ropes, what, what not to do and um, just, you know, kind of go out and work each day. And, um, that's the thing I think the young guys are starting to catch on, um, and it'll be uh, it'll be a good finished product. You know, I have a lot of faith in the young guys. Yeah. What's it like going through a redshirt year, whether it be you know development or injury? I think only like four or five true freshmen have played this year. You kind of went through that. What, what's it like, you know, waiting a year to get onto the field? I think it's crucial, depending on what it, you know, what's the issue. I mean, if you're hurt, just get healthy. That's yeah. the main goal. Uh, if you're uh, developmental, like for me, I was a developmental. It was just putting on weight, so that required a lot of patience, but a lot of hard work. Uh, <coughs> it depends, really. Um, I mean, if you're, I mean, if you're hurt, I mean, they're not gonna sit there and be like, oh, you know, we gotta get you ready to play and all that. I mean, just get healthy first. I mean, our coaches do a great job in being patient with people who are healthy. Is that next year that much more exciting, knowing that you waited a year to have a chance oh, yeah. to play? I mean, that I mean, spring was a big one for you. Oh yeah, I mean developmental wise, like yeah, I mean that took that uh, took that spring. I mean that was a huge spring for me. Um, you look forward to it, uh, especially if you have you, know, you have something to prove, uh, both injured and if you're developing with that. Against Minnesota, you guys were lights out on defense for three quarters, and then a couple big plays in the fourth quarter. Where do you think the defense is right now? Uh, we're coming along. Um, I still have work to do. Uh, we uh, can't let. Stuff like that happened in the fourth quarter. Uh, that's how you lose games. Uh, I believe there would have been another three and out, but we had a penalty for a late hit. Right. It's a terrible call, but whatever. Um, <laughs> he, well, I did watch it. He was out of bounds. Yeah, OK. Um, <laughs> you take away that, I mean, that's another three and out. Yeah. So uh, eliminating penalties, for sure, we got to stop that. Um, I mean, yeah, it's been OK for the past couple of games, but we got to cut penalties, especially at crucial points of the game. And the one fifty-seven yarder to May was kind of a broken play. Yeah. Um, does that, I don't say, absolve you because you still have to make the play? But is it, the fact it wasn't a kind of a fundamental thing, or is that what difference that make? It happens, I guess. You know, I mean, I mean, it sucks, but I mean, it happens. Uh, sometimes your teammates are running into each other, and I gotta start running down the field. Plain and simple. Uh, it's part of the it's part of the game, and we don't really bat an eye on it. So. Illinois has been very solid on offense this year, Darren. Have you watched much film on them yeah. so far? What yeah. have you seen so far? Uh, 
talented group. Uh, they like to get their receivers involved. I believe they get their running back back. Yep. That's what I heard. Ferguson, yep. Yeah, is he the star? They had a freshman, though. He's pretty fast also. Yep. Um, the quarterback, he's healthy, too. He was hurt last year, I believe. Yep. Um, you know, they like to throw the ball around. Um, they like to go hard for the most part. Um, I'm sure I'll get a little more detail here throughout the week. But um, spread team, um, just like any other team, really. <laughs> Darren, how do you avoid overlooking them with the two games that you have coming up after, after that? Oh, we're not overlooking anybody. That's not possible here. I'm fully convinced that's not possible. Just the way our coaches and the way we do business here, we don't overlook anybody. Um, we're not, we just take it one game at a time. Uh, we're not worried about, you know, what's at the end of the tunnel. We just take it day by day. Darren, they uh, lost their athletics director today, Illinois did. You played Maryland the week all the rumors were surrounding Edsel. When a team is emotional, do you see that on the field on Saturday? Is there a difference in them, or is it football's football and things get compartmentalized on they game day? They lost their AD? They fired him. They fired like, him? Yeah. Their AD or the coach? They're AD. Okay. Um, yeah, Cubit's still coaching. Okay. Um, well, I guess it would depend. Uh, it, well, I mean, because we don't really see our AD around here, I can't really speak for them, so I, I wouldn't know. Um, I mean, if they're close with their AD, I mean, I would imagine that they'd be pretty emotional and they'd probably have some fire to them. 